In the past couple of years, I've been praising 20th Century Studios so much for like um, making films that we hardly get nowadays, or being able to make some films that don't seem like traditional studio films. And today, they released another film that really fits into that, that being No One Will Save You. This. This uh, alien invasion film is directed by Brian Duffield, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, stars Caitlin Deaver and has very little to no dialogue. The way this film executes that is just so great. I'm always a sucker for visual storytelling, whether it's like, say, the opening scene of There Will Be Blood, most of Wally and the finale to Silence of the Lambs. But this film took decided, what if we had that for most of the whole film? It worked. Like, you can definitely just tell what the characters are thinking, even though they don't say anything. Especially when it comes to Caitlin Deeper's performance. Like, her performance is just so great. It's like, you can't take, like, our eyes are stuck onto our character, like we can't, we can't leave it. Like you're just really wanting to know like what's gonna happen to her. That's really great direction and great um, characterization. I also love the whole kind of look of this film. It feels much more like the home invasion, like something that came from the 40s and 50s. Which is interesting because the kind of style that Caitlin Deaver's, char Caitlin Deaver's character is in feels more like 50s, 60s. And this also becomes clear with the type of music she likes to listen to and that ending. I also really love the direction of the suspense scenes. Like, you really just feel kind of like this anxiety inducing which is what the character is going through throughout most of the film now the kind of realization it's i'm still kind of like trying to understand what what the director was doing with you know like once um once our um caitlin deaver's character gets abducted by the uh, UFO and the aliens like kind of you know I'm still kind of trying to like figure out what that was but having this kind of abstract like um, scene kind of reminded me of like something like under the skin and this film also kind of reminds me of other films released by uh, 20th like The Empty Man and Independence Day based on like some of their visuals and um, showcase of horror, horrorness. Um, but yeah, I just had a really good time watching this, aside from having to, you know, go through the ads on Hulu. But, um, it's, I'm just kind of upset because, like, how the studio decided not to put this one out in theaters. I think this would have been a great fit for the cinemas. Like, getting something like this in theaters would have been much more special and kind of, like, a just great. Like, I mean, when was the last time we've gotten, or when have we ever gotten a film that's, like, mostly with no dialogue, um, that's very abstract, ambitious, bold, and daring in theaters? But, but hey, at least we got the, this movie and it's great. I, I'm just glad like people will get to see it. Really interested to see what the director does next.